hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time welcome don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me now 50 cents diddy do it documentary is coming out on netflix very soon netflix won the bidding war so it's going to be on netflix so the other day in the middle of making that video a light bulb went off and I was like, oh my gosh, could it be that's why some people are not speaking out? Because they are, you know, in that documentary. So I wanted to go over some names of people who I think, well, I'm hoping to see in the documentary. I'm just speculating, really. We could speculate and see, you know. Um, so I believe Mace, the rapper, will be in the documentary for sure, right? Uh, Aubrey O'Day from Danity Kane, I believe. Oh, and also Dawn Richards. I believe they will both will be in the documentary. Little Kim. Oh, my gosh. I know she has a lot to get off her chest. The things that she's been through with Diddy. Faith Evans, another one. Oh, man. I don't know. But it would, it would be great if they would speak out. Naomi Campbell. Oh, no, no, no. Never mind that. She is evil. That lady was on the Jeffrey Epstein's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's evil and she has a lot of skeletons in her closet. I don't think she will go against Diddy. No. So Tiffany Red. Tiffany is Cassie's best friend. She will be on there, I believe. Gina Young. You know, she flip flops. She went back to Diddy after all that. But she could be on there, too. Um, let's see, Mary J. Blige. Would Mary J. Blige go against Diddy after all the things that she's done for Diddy and all the things that she's done with Diddy? I don't know, but she is friends with 50 Cent, the creator of the documentary. So maybe that made her, I don't know, I don't know. But she also made a post two months ago that's very telling, okay? This post is a very well-known saying that people post online, but Mary posted it two months ago, and it's, um, unfortunately, a lot of y'all met me when I lacked boundaries and was a people pleaser. Let me reintroduce myself. I burn bridges as needed. That's what she posted two months ago. Very telling, huh? So, I don't know. Maybe 50 Cent is... I don't know, it's her protection. Maybe she feels safe now. I don't know. But we'll see, right? Misa Hilton, Diddy's first baby mother, Justin Combs' mother. It would be great to see Misa on there, you know, finally speaking out, right? Let's see, Young Miami. Oh, gosh, she's a nasty piece of work. Make sure you check out the video I did. I think it's called Diddy something with his S-E-X workers, something like that. Um, yeah, she's, yeah, she's disgusting. Uh, let's see, who else? Stevie J, yeah, right. Stevie J would never go against Diddy because that's his partner in crimes. They've done so many nasty things together. Him, Naomi, Mary J. Blige. Yeah, those are Diddy's partner in crimes. Like, really, really, like, partner in crimes. Like, all these, mm. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Justin Bieber, that would be great to see, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I think Justin is too scared right now. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Young Jock. Yeah, Young Jock spilled a lot of stuff about Diddy before everything came out. So a lot of these things Young Jock said, we're like, oh, whoa. This is what, you know, we were able to put, to put two and two together because of Young Jock, you know? So... Yeah, but will he be on there? <laughs> I don't know. Usher would be great, but I doubt it. I think Usher would take all that to the grave with him. I don't see him ever coming out. So, mm, let's see. J-Ho, I mean J-Lo. Jennifer Lopez, I doubt it. But they said she's the one who carried the pew-pew in the club for Diddy to... You know, so I don't think she'll be on there, but it would be shocking. <laughs> Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole, well, she worked with Diddy, so 
Mm, she probably have some things to say. Sanaya Layton, she did mess around with Diddy. Yeah, quietly too. Mm-hmm. So, oh my gosh, French Montana. Yeah, that's Diddy's boy toy right there. Would he be on there? I doubt it, but hey, it would be good though. But yeah, um, Rick Ross. <laughs> I doubt it. That's Diddy's. You know, they said that Diddy's um, they hooked up before, you know. Um, DJ Khaled, they said, yeah, that's Diddy's lover. They they hooked up, you know. Diddy's, man, Diddy slept with everybody. I always said that. Watch my videos. I've always said Diddy slept with everybody just because he could. Not because he, he was attracted to these people. Just because he could. And that was power to him, you know, because he could hold that over their head, you know, the things that he would make them do. So, yeah. Um, day 26, the whole day 26, the band, um, you know, the group, yeah, I think they probably would be on there. Freddie for making the band, well, making the band, all of them, I think, will be on there. I don't know, but you never know. They have a lot to say. Lauren London. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, she definitely has a lot to say, but I don't trust Lauren London. Something about her is very fishy. I just don't trust her, but I will say that for another day. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Jean Deal might be on there. You never know. Roger Bonds, Diddy's ex-bodyguard. You know, you never know. Drake should be on there. Drake was smacked by Diddy. You know, Diddy smacked him. Did man... <laughs> it's crazy. Busta Rhymes, that's Diddy's boy. Yeah, I've ooh, I've heard some things about Busta Rhymes years ago, years, years ago. Busta Rhymes is... I'll save that for another time, okay? Wale, they said that Wale was hung over the a balcony in the studio for working with Cassie in the studio... Then he came in there, and he took what Man, it's just a lot. <laughs> Let's see. Who else? Who else? Let's see. I don't know. Bruce Willis. Oh, my gosh. Bruce Willis? Did his lover, ex-lover. That would be shocking. I don't think he would. I know he won't, but I, would, I just wanted to mention his name. You know, that would be great. That would, man, that would, that would be the shock of my life. Bruce Willis is on that, do in that documentary talking about Diddy and the things that they've done. <laughs> Their late night pool parties. Yeah, that is wild. Who else? Oh, Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher is a scumbag. Ashton, you notice that Ashton Kutcher is friends with a lot of sick people, a lot of sickos. Do you know Ashton Kutcher's best friend, Danny Masterson, was served 30 years in jail for all wounding two women, okay? These are the people that Ashton Kutcher deals with. You see? You see? Now, did he? Yeah. So Ashton Kutcher is pretty much... <laughs> yeah, he uh, so much you could say about Ashton Kutcher. He's a scumbag, and do you know he was dealing? That's you know what I will do a video on Ashton, Ashton Kutcher, and his wife Mila, and uh, Danny Masterson. It's so much, so much, and I still have to do my video on Mary J. Blige. Every time I try, I, something else come up. <laughs> My gosh, will I ever finish? But um, yeah, who else? Oh, Terrence J from 106 and Park. Cassie did an interview with Big Boy. I believe, like, I saw it last year. But I think that interview was like seven years ago, maybe eight years ago. And because she did a movie with Terrence J. And they asked her, how did he, you know, feel about, I guess, they're making out 
you know, in a movie or something like that. And Cassie, I know she was lying. She said, oh, Diddy was cool, you know, Terrence and Diddy, they talked on the phone and, you know, everything was cool. I don't believe that one bit. I believe Diddy terrorized uh, Terrence. I believe Diddy was on that set. Diddy probably was just causing chaos. I knew when Cassie said, oh yeah, everything was cool. They talked on the phone and Diddy was like, oh, it's all good, you know, blah, 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 blah. I knew it was all BS because Diddy, extremely jealous. I mean, just ridiculous, okay? He is so insecure that no one can even, if you on set, nobody can talk to whoever he's with. No one, no one. Not even the person who you're supposed to be on set with or you're doing the video with, like Little Wayne. Only Lauren London could talk to Cassie. The makeup, there was a makeup artist that came out uh, months, months ago. And the makeup artist was like, yeah, even Little Wayne. And then Cassie was supposed to do the video with Little Wayne. And did he give Little Wayne a hard time? And he roughed her up too on the set. She was crying, and the makeup artist had to do her makeup all over again because Cassie was crying. Nobody on the set could talk. They had to talk to Diddy. They couldn't talk to Cassie. No one, okay? That is freaking ridiculous, okay? I know Terrence J got hell. He got hell from Diddy, okay? And it's sad. Insecure men are just pathetic. They are not fun. It's like, come on, it's one thing to be jealous, but it's another one. It's just like, what? Where it's just like, what world are you living in? Like, where you can't even be in this room. If somebody look at you, it's like they want to fight the person or they mad at you. Like, what did you do? You didn't do anything. Somebody look at you. How is it your problem? How is it your fault? You know, somebody look at you, right? Like, insecure men are not fun at all to be with. My God, this is so extreme. They need to get help. They really do. They are so insecure, and they're putting their insecure on you. It's just crazy. So anyway, you guys, um, so who are you looking forward to see in the documentary? Who are you hoping to see? Who do you think will be in the documentary? Let me know in the comments. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.